Hi everyone, today I'll be doing a review on a figure that I have been meaning to get for a very long time but finally managed to get both this one and the summer uniform one. This is the Nomi Kudoryovka Fuyufuku version, Nendoroid from Little Buster's Ecstasy. I managed to get both in perfect condition for a thousand yen which was quite a good deal. She has the old style box since she was released quite a few years ago now. It's pink which is quite a good colour for her I think. It's got the check pattern all over it which I really like. I do miss these boxes quite a bit since the design was really cute. On the side it just says Wafuke Akushon Fikyo which is quite funny. And on the other side it says Ekizotik Jishona Maskoto which is the title she gets first in the game when she joins the battle rankings. There's also a big window where you can see all of the accessories that she comes with. She comes with quite a lot. There's the visual arts sticker of authenticity, the logo for Little Busters as well as her name and her number. This is the Fuyufuku version and there is also a Natsufuku as well which I also have a review on. And the sculptor for this figure is someone called Abe Masato which I found really funny that the sculptor of the Kud Nendroid was someone called Masato but there is also the GIF logo since this Nendoroid was in collaboration with GIFT. The sides of the box actually have some really cute quotes from Kud, so it says Wafu Aiken Berukato Frisbee de Osobuna no this. So that's really cute. I really like that the old boxes used to have quotes from the characters. It's not really a thing anymore, which is a shame, but uh, the back of the box shows some various poses with her. She comes with quite a few accessories, like I said before. She has the Inumimi as well as one of her dogs, which is the smaller one, and that's Saberuka. The other Nendoroid comes with Storeruka, which is quite cool. And again, this is just the normal school uniform, so she does match the other two quite well, considering she is in this uniform, but personally my favourite is actually the summer uniform. On the other side of the box it says, Wafu ga tokomari ga ni kuae inumimi to inushippo mo fuzoku. Not just the troubled face and her wafu face, she also comes with a dog ears and a dog tail. Her kotobuki, a scale figure, also comes with similar parts with the dog ears and dog tail. It's quite a common thing for her in her illustrations and such. Kuduryavka comes with a lot of accessories. Older Nendoroids really did come with a lot of things and now they come with barely anything, so it really does make you realise just how little uh, Nendoroids do come with these days. But she comes with three arms. She comes with an extra skirt and also an extra ribbon for when you're not using the mantle as well. She comes with an extra mantle for when you're using the dog tail. She comes with two dog ears and a dog tail. And she comes with her smaller dog which is Veruka. Uh, she comes with her famous hat and this automatically has the parts inside for if you want to attach the dog ears. Kud comes with two extra face plates. One is the Wafu girl on the right and Komarigal is the one on the left. To attach could stand you have to remove this hair piece from the back and then it attaches into the back of her head. Uh, considering I don't like using the square bases I'm not too sure how well this is going to go considering it will be in the back of her head but I'll see if she can stand without that square part. And here is Kud herself. She does indeed stand without the base that I don't like so that's okay. And all in all, I'm, I just can't believe that I got this for pretty much 500 yen. She's in perfect condition and comes with everything, um, so I'm really happy about that. Up close, her normal faceplate is very cute as well. Of course, this was before the anime started, so they actually went for Naga's eyes and not the anime eyes, so I really like that. It does look a little bit different to the other two since they were based off of the anime version, but Personally, I prefer this version. And she has her little bat hair clip as well. I've always really liked Kud's hair colour, but sometimes it can come out a little bit more grey than it should. I like that they've gone for a warmer tone here. And the uniform, of course, is spot on as well. The ribbon is actually quite different to the other two girls, uh, Komari and Ding, since I guess they base this more off the art. And I'm not too sure what happened there. It's just the ribbon. They decided to change the design a few years later for the other two Nendoroids, but the colour's slightly different, but that's okay. And of course, those socks that she has with the ribbons on and her little boots are there as well, which is really nice to see. And the paint job is perfect, and this Nendoroid is in perfect condition, there's nothing I can say wrong about it really. And here is her Komariga pose. I really like the bent arms included in this set, and I like that since this is an older Nendoroid, 
all the arms come with their own hands and also all the heads come with their own joints which is nice as well. The hat looks really good, I think the hat's really cute. And just the faces they actually chose to make as well are purely based off of the game. She makes all three of these faces. And even without the mantle as well, I think that she looks really cute. I personally really like her in just the uniform itself. To attach the tail to her back, you have to change her skirt to the extra skirt that was included, since this one has a hole in the back there. And here she is doing her wafu pose with Veruka by her feet. If you change up her hand part for the fist piece, then you can create the same wafu pose that she does in the game. The dog pieces as well, I didn't think I would want to use, but I actually really like these, they're really cute, especially the ones on the hat, the ears. And as for the extra mantle, it works both for the tail and also this arm piece that goes straight upwards, since the other one doesn't really allow for that movement, so it's this one that you have to use for this sort of pose. One thing I will say about this figure is that the ears do fall out of the hats quite easily, so you need to be careful with that. Overall, I'm really glad to finally have this in Endroid. I do think that since she is quite old, maybe some of the parts can be a little bit fiddly and the ears and such can fall out of the hat quite quickly, but I'm really glad that I managed to get her in good condition since she is quite old, so I'm not sure how easy that is anymore. I'm normally not the type to like the animal ear parts that they used to include in a lot of old key figures, but I really like this one where she has the dog ears and tail, I actually really like that a lot so I might display her like that. So keep in mind this is the Fuyufuku version, there is also the summer uniform version as well. There's two options there, one of them came out a little bit later so I think that this one her face is a little bit older looking but in some ways I do quite like that as well. And I'm really happy to finally add her to my Dean and Komadi who have been just on their own for ages. I think they'll look really nice together. I hope you enjoyed this review and I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye!